What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another Miles Dawkins 24-7 Redaction. I hope you're having a marvelous day because you know I am. Now, anyways, man, I hope that you guys really wanted to see this one because I really didn't get too many requests for this one, but I thought it would be a good idea since he just got his number retired to do Rip Hamilton through the years. Now, we kicked things off in NBA Live 2001 when he's 79 overall with an 80 mid, 86 three-point shot, 75 dunk, 81 handle, and an 85 inside scoring rating. Now, that 86 three-point shot, that's going to be like the second highest that he will ever have through the years for his basketball career. Now, anyways, man, back in 2002 on NBA Live 2002, he is 81 overall with an 82 midi, 77 three-point shot, 90 dunk, 76 inside score, and he also comes in with an 84 handle. Moving on to NBA 2K2, he's 75 overall. Now let's go back real quick to his college career. Now y'all all know what school he played for, right? He played for UConn. You guys are right. He played for UConn. He played 103 games for UConn. He averaged 19.8 points per game for his three seasons there at UConn. He also averaged 4.5 rebounds and 2.6 assists because, you know, he was the dominant scorer. His mid-range game was insane. I guess back then in college, his three-point shot was pretty nice because we saw what it was for NBA Live 2001. But we all know that the three-point shot is basically a deep two in the NBA game. Now, anyways, man, he was a two-time All-American. Two-time All-American. Let me repeat that. He also was a two-time Big East Player of the Year. And then, of course, in 1998 and 1999, they went all the way to win the NCAA Championship for men's basketball. I believe that they beat Duke. And I was going for Duke. Yes, I'm that old to know what team I was going for. I was going for Duke. And it was a fantastic game. But... Duke lost. And I believe Duke when women's team that year lost too. Like both their teams made it all the way. And I believe both the men's and women's team both lost. And I know that UConn men team uh beat Duke. I forgot who beat the women's team, but hey, neither here nor there. And then of course we go we are going to jump to his NBA career where look how they do him in NBA Live 04. I mean look at that. 67 overall. 67 overall. With a 72 mid, 51 three-point shot, 69 dunk, 53 inside scoring, and then a 71 handle. And look at what he does to Shaq with a 69 dunk. He dunks over Shaq. Who knew, man? Who knew? But 67 overall, that's pretty low. But I believe in the other 30 years I did for basketball, NBA Live 04 and 05, kind of kind of shortchanged these guys when it came to their overalls. I don't know if that was intentional. I don't know if that was just a mistake. But it seems like a mistake to me. Because I even have Rip Hamilton 60, 67 overall, but 2K4 or ESPN Basketball has him at 85 overall with a 97 close, 89 mid, 73 three point shot. And he also comes in with a 90 layup. So, I mean, again, I really don't know. Because look at NBA Live 05, it's a little bit better, up by six. But going from 67 to 73, it's still pretty low for somebody who's an NBA champion. I'm just saying, man. But 72 mid, 47 three point shot. It's three point shot got worse. I mean, unbelievable. 69 dunk, 60 inside scoring, and then a 71 handle. Now, when we look at Rip Hamilton, there's one stat that a lot of people are throwing out nowadays. And it's the per 100 possessions. And his per 100 possessions is pretty freaking solid. You look at his points for his rookie season, 24.1. You look at his season or look at his numbers for his last season when it comes to points, 24.2. So that means that his rookie season, his last season, were his lowest totals as far as his average for points per 100 possessions. Every other season, it was basically 29 and above, 33.8 was one, I believe, his highest, since that is his highest for his career. And that was like his fourth year in the league. So again, I don't know how NBA Live 04 had him at 67 overall, but hey, I guess, you know, so far in the past, why even worry about it? But this is called through the years, so I'm going to worry about it. But anyways, ESPN 2K5, you can see that he was 86 overall, NBA 2K6, 88 overall with a 99 close rating, 94 mid, 75 three-point shot, 90 layup, and 60 dunk. Now, when we look at his numbers for that season, you can see that he averaged, or his three-point shot, his three-point shot. Like, like, check it out. Listen closely. His three-point shot wasn't just great, but it was a league high for his average or his percentage, excuse me. His three-point percentage was 45%. 
Like that is crazy. 45% for Rip Hamilton. And you see, 91 for his three-point shot. 86 overall, 99 close. Again, 94 midi, 91 layup, and an 82 handle. So again, Rip Hamilton, he was showing his range, okay? His range got very, very deep. And then right here versus Miami, I mean, he's doing this thing. Pull-up game is insane. Hand in the face, does not matter. He's going to knock it down man when we move into 2k8 there was only three games well really, really four teams four teams that i played with online a lot the best team of course was the celtics you had kobe you had lebron james there were a bunch of glitches you had the spurs that was solid but i was playing with my warriors because you know, i'm a warriors fan been a, i'm one of those real warrior fans not these fake looney tunes that jumped on the bandwagon but anyways man i also played with the denver nuggets with ai and carmelo I also played with the chicago bulls because they had ben gordon who was pretty solid at the time and in 2k8 i do believe that ben wallace was also on the chicago bulls and then of course i played with the detroit pistons and again his mid-range jumper it was sweet it was beautiful it was butter it was wet it was gonna go in i mean look at the spin move out of the double team and knocks it down i mean this kid right here was doing major things so in 2k K9, 88 overall, 90 close, 94 mid, 86 three-point shot, ties what it was in NBA Live 2001, 80 layup, and then an 84 handle. Now, anyways, when we look at his career as a whole, he was a three-time All-Star, all with the Detroit Pistons. He played nine seasons with Detroit, three with Washington, and then two at the end of his career for the Chicago Bulls. He also won the 2004 NBA. For, well, not him by himself, obviously. It was a team. team it was a team win. You had Rasheed Wallace, Ben Wallace, Tayshawn Prince, Rip Hamilton, and of course Chauncey, but 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 Billups. And that upset was one. I think still one of the biggest upsets not just in NBA history but in all sports because I don't believe that Detroit had not one person that was all league all NBA first team second team or third team like and they beat the mighty Lakers with Kobe and Shaq still all in their prime you know what I mean so that upset I think will always be in the mind of course the Detroit Pistons fans but I think just NBA fans in general but anyways NBA 2k 11 77 overall 88 inside scoring 77 close 81 mid 69 for his three-point shot and he also has a 73 layup and an NBA 2k 10 with light skin Kobe on the cover he was 78 overall going back at the 2K12, 73 overall, 79 inside scoring, 85 close, 83 mid, 76 three-point shot, 73 layup. Now, I think for the majority of his career, he was kind of in the shadow of other two guards like Vince Carter, uh, T-Mac, if you consider him a two guard, of course, Kobe, you know what I mean? And because he couldn't really hit that three-point shot, I don't think a lot of fans gave him the respect that he deserved. He was a great knockdown mid-range jumper and stuff like that, a great down knockdown mid-range jumper but again don't really think he got the respect that he deserved as this is a good all-around player now when we look at his career numbers they look like this he averaged 17.1 points per game that's throughout his whole career when we go to his um per 100 per 100 possessions it goes up he averaged about 29 point or 28.9 29.3 for the detroit pistons but 28.9 for his whole career so per 100 possessions possessions excuse me he was pretty solid now as you look at nba 2k14 as this video comes to an end you can see that he is a free agent with a 74 73 overall rating depending on what you want to look at if you look at the top right corner you see that it goes down i always like how it goes up and down during the game but really don't understand why it will go up and down when he's in free agency during the like beginning stages of 2K14 and before the NBA uh, season even has started. When we add up all of his overalls and we divide it by the number of games that I have, including 2K and including NBA Live, we get 79.4 overall. So that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace. Hot sauce.